Hello students, this is Vinod from Endurance Engineering Academy. So let me share you one clean strategy which the sincere aspirant should, uh, should plan in order to prepare for GATE 2024. See what is mean by the clean strategy? Because like why I am naming it to be clean strategy, it is very simple. There won't be any, uh, what is that, hidden details. Everything will be straightforward. I will be keeping you everything like whatever is required. All those things will be given to you in a straightforward manner so that the students can directly implement it uh, for your gate exam preparation. And I can guarantee say that this is going to work. Okay, this is going to work if you follow it perfectly. Right, let me start with the strategy. The first one regarding gate 2024, the first and foremost, the key point which I wanted to say. See, I'm not going to discuss about uh, what is that, the content preparation, where you need to practice problems, what are all the problems you need to practice, uh, etc. I'm not going to focus on those things. Instead of that, I'm going to focus on few things which uh, majority, the majority of the students were not doing it properly. Okay, so let us focus on those things first. Okay, so first, focusing on accuracy rather than focusing on uh, rather than focusing on the number of questions you are attempting for example you are going to attempt 65 questions that is sorry sorry there are 65 questions in an exam there is no requirement for you to attempt all the 65 questions because nobody is going to score 100 out of 100 in gate nobody okay maybe they might score some 98 or 96 but obviously that is also not your requirement Okay, even 98, 96, you might get rank 1. Okay, you might get AR1. But who need AR1? Because whatever the things which AR1 is going to get, the same thing AR100 can also get. The student who is getting AR100, I'm talking about the core branches. For example, if you belong to mechanical or electrical or civil or EC. Okay, because in these branches, the competition will be less and uh, sorry, competition will be more so that even the first rank or 100 rank, it doesn't matter. Uh, within 1 to 100, you will be in a very, very, very good position. But of course, if you are going to, uh, if you are preparing for uh, XC paper or if you are preparing for uh, metallurgy paper or if you are preparing for PA paper, in these cases, obviously your rank should be a little bit, uh, what is that, a little bit lesser. Okay, maybe around 50 or 60. Okay, those things will be sufficient. Right, but in general, what I was supposed to say, you don't need 100 out of 100. Okay, 100 out of 100 is not required. If suppose if you are attempting 50 questions out of 65 and if you are able to maintain 100% percentage accuracy in that 50 questions, well and good, you will get a very, very, very good rank. Okay, you will get a very, 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 very good rank. I can, I am 100% sure about it. Just for, for an example, consider that out of this 50 questions, 25 is one mark and 25 is 2 marks. Just for an example, I am equally dividing it. So, 20, if you have 100% accuracy, so 25 marks you will be getting it and from this you will be getting 50 marks. So, 75 marks without any effort. I, I won't say that without any effort, but without any much of a trouble. You are not attempting uh, the balance 15 questions. Without attempting the balance 15 questions, just with 50 questions, you are able to get 75 marks. That will obviously fetch you within 100. Okay, 100 percentage it will fetch you within 100 based on the present scenario. Okay, because mechanical paper, as you guys know that the number of aspirants has reduced. So, in the present scenario, it will give you. Okay, so that is the first and foremost suggestion. Focus on quality over quantity. Okay, so whatever the questions you are attempting, make sure that you are going to attempt it correctly. You are going to uh, you are going to keep the accuracy to be hundred percent. Obviously, hundred percent accuracy is not possible. You can maintain between ninety five to hundred. That is that itself very 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 good. Okay, so rather than attempting sixty five questions and then doing some twenty questions like losing some twenty questions in negative marks, okay, and then you are answering only forty five questions correctly. This will result in like around what 40 marks, 40 to 50 marks. Okay, you are, I hope you are getting the point, right? So just attempting 50 questions, maintaining 100% accuracy will give you 75 marks. But attempting all the 65 questions and 20 questions are wrong, then you will get 40 to 50 only. That is never going to be helpful. Okay, that is never going to be helpful. So the first and foremost point is to focus on accuracy rather than focusing on uh, rather than focusing on the quantity of questions. Okay, so this is the first one, right? Right, let us focus on the second one. So then what about difficult questions? I have two things uh, to discuss about this uh, difficult questions. I have two, what is that, two suggestions regarding this difficult questions. One is, 
if you are going to get this difficult questions because obviously i'm asking you to focus on accuracy so if you are focusing on accuracy you will be able to skip few of the difficult questions right that is possible if you are focusing on accuracy majorly easy questions medium questions you will be able to attempt some of the hard questions some of the difficult questions you will be able to attempt but still you will uh, you won't able to answer all the difficult questions because if you are not you are not getting that expert uh, you are not becoming uh, expertise in the subject you are becoming an expertise but you are not becoming what i could say or not obtaining that excellence in the subject okay because nobody can obtain excellence in the subject if you are preparing for uh, competitive exam okay you can you can obtain some to, uh, up to some level but it is not going to be 100 percentage if you want 100 percentage excellence in the subject then you need to invest lots and lots and lots of time for that single subject itself that amount of time is not available for us okay that much amount of time is not available for us so initially when you are preparing with your preparation if you are able to answer easy and medium questions then you have prepared it well okay honestly truly you have prepared it well and now what about hard question sir what about difficult question sir as i said already you won't able to obtain 100 percentage excellence in a particular question for example you obtain some 70 percentage excellence okay 70 percentage uh, of uh, what is that 70 percentage you became mastered okay 70 percentage of the subject obviously the content concept wise you will be fine but problem solving you are not able to obtain that 100 percentage you obtain only 100 70 percentage then ready to learn okay so whenever you find out difficult questions in your test series okay whenever you are going to attempt a test series and whenever you find a difficult question in test series or in previous year questions or in any of the practice sheet for example in our in our uh, in our institutes we will be providing the practice sheets and then we will be dealing with offline test series and online test series and during that time whatever the new questions you are getting whatever the difficult questions you are getting make sure that you are ready to learn ready to learn the new questions okay so always you need to have a mentality of uh, learning the things and that is you need to keep your mentality such that you are ready for learning anything whatever we are going to give you okay so that is the that is the first point so even though you prepared something but you are not able to solve the difficult questions no issues learn it learn it now be ready to learn okay that is the that is the second point and now coming to this is regarding test series previous question practice that is before examination during the process during your preparation process during your preparation process if you face any difficulty in questions the only solution is ready to learn okay the only solution is ready to learn but for example you have done everything okay you practiced a good number of questions you concentrated on quality or quantity and in the final exam final gate exam you are facing some difficulty in five to six questions now for example you are facing difficulty in five to six questions the only suggestion which i which i'm going to give you is if it is going to be difficult for you guys then it is going to be difficult for all because you have done you have done number of efforts you have put if i put like a uh, enormous amount of effort in order to reach this stage so you are able to answer easy medium question with 100% accuracy you are able to answer some of the hard questions with 100% accuracy of course there is going to be some questions which you will still feel you are not going to answer it in the final exam you will still feel that it is still difficult to answer and those questions i will i will guaranteely say those are the questions which is going to be difficult for all okay so these are the two mindsets which you need to keep it based on where you are if you are in the process if you are in the preparation process keep make sure that you are ready to learn if you are in the final exam that is in your final gate exam then you have to keep it in mind that if you are not able to fight if you are not able to solve some five questions then those are the questions which are very critical and majority of the stu- students own solve maybe 2 to 3 out of 100 will solve okay 2 to 3 out of 100 will solve but it doesn't matter okay majority of the students are not solving so you are there, there there is nothing to worry about it okay so these are the two attitudes one during the process ready to learn two during the gate exam if the question is very 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 difficult accept it the question is difficult it is going to be difficult for all my only suggestion is don't waste time because you have only 3 hours in your final exam so don't waste time with those critical questions okay so that is the second the most important point during your gate exam preparation now the third one see which you would have already identified suppose if you are taking the test series or doing the previous questions or practice sheets or or uh, classroom workbook whatever you are doing okay there are going to be mistakes which you will be committing 
and the only thing which i will ask you to do is uh, identify the mistakes and correct the mistake and please never repeat the mistake see if you are able to follow this see it is very very easy to be said than done uh, have to accept it okay identifying the mistake is easy one correcting the mistake is also somewhat easy but not repeating the mistake is obviously very very tough task okay it is very easy to say but it is really difficult to do but you are in the process of gate exam preparation so you guys need to do that okay prepare your mindset in that way okay i will give you one suggestion for that in order to not repeating the mistake that suggestion is updating in the short notes whatever the mistakes you are doing update your short notes that mistake needs to be updated in the short notes why i am saying it is going to be important for the third okay the first one is what identifying second one correcting third one repeating that is repeating means not to repeat not to repeat if you don't want to repeat then you need to remind your mind repeatedly that means if suppose you have done one mistake okay that mistake needs to be reminded to your mind that mistake needs to be reminded to your brain repeatedly if you remind it repeatedly to your brain then obviously the possibility of repeating the mistakes will reduce okay so you identified it even you corrected it but you should not repeat it then you need to remind your mind okay you should keep on saying to your mind that this is the mistake i done i should not do it again okay this is one way but obviously you need to be very very calm when you are answering the question so that you can avoid the silly mistake even i have made a video re- regarding silly mistake how to avoid silly mistakes already you can go through that now let us focus on this okay so you should not repeat it right you should not repeat the mistake so keep reminding them and how you can do you have to update it in the short notes by updating in the short notes for example you prepared short notes there are 1 2 3 4 pages are there leave one extra page separately leave one extra page separately and whatever the mistakes you are doing when you are solving the problems let it be test series previous year practice session or classroom or work whatever the mistakes which you are doing needs to be updated in that short notes and this is falling under organizing you are organizing not only the content and also you are organizing your mistakes and both of them will make sure that it will reduce the mistake in your final exam okay so this fourth point will fall under organizing but the fifth one is going to be very important right because just organizing is not enough see i will say one thing i will give you one example um uh, you ha- you have one wonderful library okay so you constructed one wonderful library and in that you organized it everything properly from a to b okay for example a belongs to a belongs to engineering book b belongs to fiction non fiction you organized everything perfectly in the library but you are not utilizing it okay you are not going to the library you are not reading it you are not reading the books you are not taking the book and you are not reading it then obviously what is the use in organizing it okay so updation of short notes and preparation of short notes is just organizing work it is not the it is not going to be enough you are organizing it yes you made a library you prepared a library you constructed a library now you need to go to the library you need to take the book you need to read it the same thing is what revision is you made everything into a crisp crystal and clear crisp short crisp short notes but that needs to be revised regularly that is space repetition i have already made a video regarding this also okay that also will be there in the gate strategies or else i will attach it in the description you can go through it okay so what you need to do whatever you are organizing it that will get stored in your temporary memory right as you guys already know that that needs to be transferred to your permanent memory hard disk and for that space repetition is important okay so i want you guys to keep these five things in your mind okay that is uh, first one to be focusing on accuracy concentrate on i will just give a summary okay summary of this video so first one to focus on the accuracy that is concentrate on quality or quantity second one difficult questions during your preparation process uh, be ready to learn whatever the difficult questions are and uh, during your final gate exam try to accept that the question is going to be difficult for all so there is nothing wrong in skipping one or two questions in the final exam as i say already said even if you attempt 50 questions with 100% accuracy you are going to be a topper uh, obviously you are not going to be 1 2 or 3 but you will get within 100 or within 150 okay so in gate exam 
uh, what is that leaving one or two questions which is very difficult there is nothing wrong okay and third one identifying your mistakes correcting your mistakes and not repeating it and if you should not repeat the mistake then you need to update those mistakes in the short notes and we know that the fourth point updation of short notes is just organization organizing sorry not organization so just organizing you need to use the organized resources which you have so now you made all the resources in a crisp manner you need to revise it in order to utilize the resources properly and for that you need the revision okay all right see i didn't talk anything about the content which means the initial basic content from where you are going to prepare because this video is not about the content okay if you choose a very good coaching institute or if you are preparing self then content is something which you will be which you will be taking from the coaching institute or you will be preparing from uh, what is that uh, by your own with the help of your with the help of the standard books etc okay so i'm not concentrating on the content i'm focusing only on the strategies which you need to do in this uh, what is that during the step 1 to 5 okay right so that's all about the video and if you want to check out any of our courses uh, from endurance engineering academy you can check it we have courses for mechanical engineering we have courses for engineering science we have courses for civil engineering you can check out the courses we have test series for xc test series for me and uh, video courses and offline courses we have classroom and online both the courses are there so you can check out our website so that you will get to know more about our courses and if you have any queries you can call us or whatsapp us okay so thank you so much for watching the video and if there is any doubts regarding the preparation you can obviously comment okay i will try to make a separate video regarding that either i will try to make a separate video regarding your preparation or else i will do one thing i will respond to the comment itself okay so i will respond to the comment itself so that's it thank you